My name is Christopher Tavugani Nkomo. I was born in Pretoria in the mid-50s in the place called Eastwood. It was situated east of Pretoria. The suburbs of Eastwood were Highlands and Malay Camp. In my childhood years, I stayed on 3rd Street opposite the public school. We were a close-knit family. My metal grandfather owned the stand and all the other family members had houses in the stand. My childhood days were very interesting because we take a ride in my grandfather's car just for maybe a hundred meters, then a light and then go, go, come, go back running to the house. My uncle, my maternal uncle, my mother's brother, was a teacher at the public school. So I went to the public school and I was a celeb because I had family who was a teacher. Growing up, my father used to stay in the suburbs where we have willows now. He worked as a garden boy and a kitchen boy. So when he came back, he had very good things for us. He had food, leftover food from the white people. We had fr fresh bread, sometimes toasted bread, toasted buttered bread for us to eat. And he had jam, peanut butter, all the goodies that they have in the suburbs. So it was a very nice welcome for my father when he came to visit in my grandfather's house. When I grew up in the 60s, there were rumors that this place was going to be, the people were going to be removed to another place. They did not know when. But already my father in 1954 had already applied for a house in a township called Mamilodi. It was called Flakfontein before being named Mamilodi. The allocation process was we need to have a wife, marriage certificate or lobola certificate, and then the allocation was done by the municipality with the help of the municipality police who wore khaki and they were called blood caps. Don't know why it's called blood caps, but they were called blood caps. They would go with a big lock and key to go and lock the house and give you the keys in the allocation. When my father was allocated the house, the house, the street was deserted. All the houses next door were empty and there was a lot of work to be done because only one room of the four rooms was had plastered floors. The rest were just hollow and had, had to be filled with sand. I remember one day my father got lost. He slept next door because of the identity of the house. Houses. The houses were very identical, like peas, like peas in a pot. <laughs> so when he got home, it was dark. Went in, just wondered why the house is not locked, and he went in and slept. In the morning, he saw it was in the, at the wrong house, because the only difference was the number and the color on the door. The colors were green, brown and yellow doors and they had a number there written on on that on the front door that's all that was identifying them so he decided to plant a tree he planted a very big pine tree in order to identify his house that's how i came to have a, an idea of my melody 
But before then, in Eastwood, the, the thing started to roll about the force removal. Then they started to come and give papers that this place was going to be demolished. I remember that day, I was still young, about five. The bulldozers came. The trucks came. The ball wreckers came. The iron ball wreckers with chains on that thing. They came. And they were very systematic. They break your house, take the, the, the property, the, the things inside, and they send them to wherever you, you the house that you, you, you wanted. Because they were mad hard. When, when the ball swam and broke the walls, it came like a thud, and that wall came down. But then the only thing that was left of the, that suburb of the township we stayed in was the Roman Catholic Church, which had a maternity hospital where I was born, and it stands to stay in the place called Raswante. That is my story from the early 60s to the mid 60s.